When we're born rather strong, we soon lose this inner strength by compliance to parents and school. And to please my parents, I've been wearing a funny mental hat ever since. The ego, as I understand it, is a conditioned part of the personal life, allowed to carry out its script until vulnerability pokes through the upper part of the boot. Everyone can see people in need, but it is regarded as such a normal coincidence in our world that even psychologists see it as an inevitable pattern. Anyway, that's the story we like to tell ourselves to ease the anxiety on this skewed planet of ours as we watch the children playing in the depleted uranium dust on TV. If that's really what's going on with us, as psychiatrists like to ask us, is that really what's going on with us? Really? Happy Christmas! Deficient emptiness is taking prime place like a psychic ulcer. This is the deficient Winnicottian object relations side which emerges before language, maybe older than many generations of psychological baggage of unconscious substructure. The four primary agonies of going to pieces dying, 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 abandoning hope and falling forever become the basic four deficiencies before a healthy self even emerges. This has attacked ourselves in the bud and it has deformed the family tree for generations and prevented healthy growth.